Hi everyone, welcome to today's program about Zhu Xi. For the Tao in the world, when social atmosphere is good, the country is in good order. When social atmosphere is gloomy, people are not united. The Chinese culture has continued for thousands of years. So far, the heaven has not lost its grace, and sages express the Tao with the help of classic books. Tao recorded in ancient books is based on the nature of heaven's destiny, and it runs between rulers and ministers, fathers and sons, brothers, couples, and friends. And its texts were sorted out by Confucius and became Yi, Shu, Shi, Li, Chun, Qiu. Natural principles, human relations, and natural laws are the principles of the world. And their influence is not due to the existence of books in words. In order to clarify this truth to the world, ancient sense passed it on to future generations. The subtle twists and turns cannot be inherited without written records. Therefore, since Fu Xi, through the continuous efforts of the sages of all dynasties, by the time of Confucius. The classics are sufficient to spread to later generations and implement enlightenment have been very complete. Zhu Xi explained the value of the six classics, but it's a pity that Yue was lost to the world. Zhu Xi highly praised the Confucian classics, organized his students to revise the compendium of Confucianism and governance. And guided scholars to read history in addition to reading scriptures. We should learn from great ethics, great opportunities, and great gains and losses in dealing with chaos. He also reminded that the great law of honoring rulers and fathers, fighting against the barbarians, suppressing revolts, and killing disloyal people, established by sages, cannot be abolished in one day. Dedicated to cultivating the book of rites and compiling the imperial masterpiece, interpretations of classics on rites, Zhu Xi is to provide a blueprint for the social behavioral norms of the Chinese nation. Zhu Xi concluded, "Fortunately, I worked hard to study all my life and pondered carefully." In the later days, I have a glimpse of sages' intentions of education. It is most comforting to complete the annotations of many great classics, especially to revise the annotation of the four books and pass the classics and documents to future generations and establish them as norms of education. Today, the five classics and the four books. Which still exist in the world are combined into the four books and the five classics, which are still shining. Zhu Xi's huge and meticulous ideological system, which is based on his annotation of the four books, is characterized by the pursuit of knowledge, sincerity, and peace. It has transcended the limitations of time and space, race and country. And become the common spiritual home of all the humankind. That's the end of our program for today. See you next time.